it's so much fun. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jay, uh, as you know, or you may not know, I make Audi S3 content. So I'm just leaving the dealership and I just had my 60,000 kilometer maintenance done, which is the, uh, it includes the DSG service. They do oil. Um, they would have done spark plugs, but I just had my, my plugs changed about three months ago. Um, and I had the RS7 plugs put in because they are like a step holder. And being a stage two tuned car, uh, I've, I read that it was recommended. And there is a little bit of um, some question around whether or not you should use the specific plugs I'm using, but um, the shop that I go to, I really trust them with my car. And they assured me that these plugs are a-okay, 100% good to run. And if I do have any issues as a result of the plugs, it's their insurance that's gonna cover me. So I feel pretty safe running them. But yeah, the, the point of this video is to just kind of review this car as a daily driver at stage two and um, let you guys know what it's been like, any issues that have come up. I am, uh, as I just mentioned, I'm actually at 58,000 kilometers. I'm not quite at 60 yet, um, but I just got the service done a little bit early. I'm just gonna drop this, give it a pull. Man, this car is so much fun. I've had it for two years almost, and every time I get in the car, regardless of what the weather is, you know, obviously you can't drive as spirited in the snow or the rain, but regardless of the weather, this car just puts a smile on my face every single time. Like, there's no question. I'm going to enjoy myself when I get in this car. But to the video, to this topic of this video, I keep getting sidetracked. Um, what is it like? to daily drive a stage two Audi S3. Right off the top, it's amazing. You know, the car, when you want to drive it tame and you just want to have a daily driver to get you around town, it's really comfortable. Is it going to be as comfortable as a, you know, luxury sedan? Uh, no, it's not. But it's also not overly harsh at the same time. I'm still on so stock suspension. Um, and I actually did, uh, and I mentioned this in the previous video, but I have changed my tires. So I'm on a thicker, meatier tire. And the reason for that is because the roads where I live are not the greatest. So, um, you know, I was on 20, uh, or sorry, I was on 19 inch wheels before, and I was on a 235, uh, 35 tire, I believe. And I've moved down to 18 inch wheels and a 245, 40 tire. So it's, uh, it's actually really nice for a daily. But the power that this car has now is just like, it's probably perfect. I don't need more power, of course, you know, being a car person and enjoying driving, you always want more power. But um, according to Integrated Engineering's numbers, and I don't necessarily believe that um, they're accurate. I do feel like their dyno is uh, over reports a little bit, but um, at stage two on 91 octane, which is the fuel that I run, I should be around 430 horsepower and 460-ish uh, foot-pound torque. So that is nothing to shake a stick at, obviously. Um, man, it's so much fun. <clears throat> but yeah, the only issue that I have had with this car was uh, because of my own, you know, uh, error. And that was, uh, if any of you have watched the earlier videos, the point of view driving videos that I've done, you may have seen I had a coolant air popping up on the dashboard and I was trying to troubleshoot that for a while. And at the end of the day, um, it just came down to a coolant hose uh, that I got with the integrated engineering intake that I swapped out. It was, there was a clamp that wasn't tightened down enough and I tightened it several times, but I just didn't tighten it enough. And it kept uh, coming a, a, just a little bit loose leading to a slow leak of the coolant and over like several months, it would just slowly drain the coolant. And uh, you know, since I have had that tightened really, really good, I've had no problems. And that's the only problem that I have with this car. I've had uh, zero issues. Um, I don't beat on the car, but I do drive it fairly hard um, on a semi-regular basis. You know, of course I wait till the engine is heated up. I usually wait until it hits a 90, 95 degrees um, before I start, you know, doing pulls, but um, I've definitely driven the car and I've driven the car. I, I believe it was around 30,000 kilometers when I purchased it and I'm now at 60. So, or close to 60. So I'm around 30,000 kilometers in and the car has been tuned for, you know, 20,000 probably of those kilometers. So yeah, 
that's it. You know, I just wanted to do a quick video, break down what it's been like. Um, I love this car to death. The only thing that I could foresee myself switching out for would be an Audi S3, or sorry, an Audi RS3, um, but they're just too expensive. So, you know, uh, it's unfortunately not, probably not in the cards for me, at least in the near future. But yeah, I'm home. If you guys are interested in this type of content, um, you know, feel free to subscribe. And uh, I will see y'all in the next video.